Historically, black colleges and universities around the country are known for producing some of the best talent to come through the college ranks and on to the National Football League. What many may not know is the fact that those talented student athletes were coached by legendary coaches who not only changed their lives, but helped change the landscape of college football. The Mideastern Athletic Conference is proud to document and showcase some of these football coaching legends, including today's feature on a man who coached his Alcorn State team to seven black college national championships and who's known in coaching circles as the godfather of the SWAC. His name is Marino Castle. A legend, in my opinion, a person who goes beyond the call of duty, a person who uh, can't be judged by regular established uh, criteria. I've had a lot of good times. The accomplishment to be able to get the coaching. And I, and I cherish Coach. Coach Castle, at time, would strike fear in your heart because everything had to be precise. Everything had to, had to be in place. Uh, he was a tremendous tactician. He was a tremendous motivator. And, and he expected the absolute best. The, the, the competition of the game is, what, is what, 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 what the world is about. And I try to, try to do things to keep football in the right perspective. Hard to do that. I would be a good person that other people respect it. Other people would understand and would want uh, my idea, it was more my evaluation of, of not only the program, but, but their, their, their life. I want to be a man about men and be respected as well. Then after the ball game is over, we walk in and hug each other across the field in the middle of the field. That's, that's important to me. That's what, that's what made America. How do you want to be remembered? the school board showed it. When I walked out that field, it was a victory. Everybody was good. Hell, Catherine done it again.